There's a lot of going on in the Zenith realm, so we need to see what's up. <laughs> We're now living in the times where this game split in two, and this update that we're doing today is pretty much the last one that will ever be according to the devs. How I feel about the situation, my impressions and all of that is gonna be sometime later, but today we're gonna focus on the apparent quest free update and the skill tree revamp. I will say that in terms of graphics, maybe I won't notice a big difference because I'm well versed in the PC VR version. And already here it looks gutter to me, so we'll just have to see maybe in some starter areas or something. I did not play in a while, but the consensus was that you had like gut stones going on and those were like your skills. But now you have like a whole tree going on. And what's happening here? Okay, so that's that. I am 30 Blade Master support, if I remember correctly, so. Yeah, just let me look in like certain categories. So this was like the base attack, but not necessarily. I had a healing one. Which maybe unlocks sometime later? Ah, wait, it's on the bottom, but this icon is just blocking me. So how do I change it? <laughs> well, it's kind of confusing. Ah, uh, sure, why not? <laughs> so this was my core build. I don't think we have like a whole set to choose from, so you'll just have to switch manually whenever you want, which it's kind of, I guess, more convenient. Now, from all the godstones I had, I have available points that can invest in like specific parameters, which is also pretty good because normally godstones in the wild would have a randomized attribute. So you'd be just ending up searching for something that you may or may not never find it for yourself. <laughs> I'm not gonna fiddle with it now because I need to just look through all the specific parameters that I didn't know existed before. I do like this approach of the mastery tree or whatever. Let's see now in terms of the world. The resolution is kind of low, details, not much going on. Yeah, I mean, in Zenith, the resolution should be key because you can barely see what's happening in the distance. Let me maybe teleport to the starting area or whatever, if anyone even is there. I think nowadays Skyland is a starting area and this was kind of like abandoned, but I don't know if I have an access to it per se. You've entered the Fractured Plains. Before the Fracture, they were just plain, which sounds a bit insulting, no? That, I just... <sighs> this was once a bustling crossroad and marketplace for Zenithian travelers. And with yours and Zenith's help, it will be again one day. It is completely empty, my god. It's crazy how this game not ended, but it's definitely not the same what it was before. <laughs> oh wow, here the rending, something's going on. <laughs> Honestly, for quest free, it's not that good either. Like, I think. The most important parameter to me is the resolution. Because the textures aren't like the worst. And like the performance is also chunking. Am I running in full FPS though? It seems in slow motion.
Yeah, I don't know, like... And the combat seems a tad different as well. I suppose I did not play in a very long time. Like there are physics going on or something. Jesus, the game will like crash on me or something. Maybe I'll climb something higher. What was like a good gliding spot? Oh wow, there is someone actually. Forty as well. <laughs> well, maybe it is not dead after all. I'll grab this hook. Problem is, my PC VR build is pretty much unplayable due to the devs incompetence. <laughs> Very harsh, but it is the truth. And I'm not necessarily opting to play the quest version at all. Like, it's too low quality to me. I mean, the scale of the world is big. So the textures might be gathered, but really, to me, the resolution is the most important part. Like, on the pancake lenses, is just very apparently not nice looking. <laughs> I kind of was close to the max level though. I think nowadays it's far easier to level up. I come from the days where it was a bit of a struggle. Oh, I didn't collect this? Today might be the day. Well, <laughs> I don't know if I finished my thought, <laughs> but essentially I played on the lunch day and now that's the situation we are in. So yeah, it is with this. <laughs> I probably have not much to say about the graphics in general, primarily because I'm coming from the PC VR, but I do like what they've done with the abilities. Like, to me, this seems more accessible, clear, and just transparent where you want to go with your gameplay. <laughs> so to equip stuff, we pretty much switch to the sockets and then insert them and if we want to reset just go there very straightforward this might or might not be the farewell to the mmo version i'd yet have to see how the free to play mode performs but it's kind of sad. <laughs> but I'm not here to dwell on the history and we need to just move on with times.